Previously on Logan Storm. After all the fighting, all the death, I thought I'd be exhausted. But I was restless. I couldn't sit still. And Fawkes couldn't either. He wasn't exactly comfortable being around people that hated him. Still, they gave us food. They gave us drink. And we left on our way. But not before I left my power armor behind. After all, it was the armor of the Lion's Pride. And me, well, I was just a visiting member. It held together long enough, and it kept me alive for all that war. But now I hope to put wars behind me. It feels good to be back in my own skin. We should have waited. We should have rested for longer, but we couldn't. We set out on foot, back out across DC, Back towards my home, I didn't know what we were going to find. I didn't know what I planned to do exactly. I don't even think I'd be able to communicate with them. But just knowing that they're still there, that they're still safe from all of this, it'll give me some peace of mind after everything I've lost on my way here. Just the thought, the confirmation that Marta is still in there, still the same her. She always called me a dreamer, and I guess... I guess I still am after all this time. Dreaming that everything is okay there. That Dad's departure didn't completely tear that place apart. I have to go back. I need to know. And with that need, we finally crested a hill. And there, on the horizon, is my second home. My wasteland home. Megaton. A bright light in more ways than one. And I was happy to see it again. That's the place, bud. Megaton. They are, um... They're pretty welcoming. But... It might not be worth taking chances just yet. I mean, both of us look a bit rough and it's been a while since I've been back there. I think if we just give it a a bit of a wider berth, it'll be better for both of us. There's bodies out there still. Raiders who tried to take the place down still got spirit and seeing the lights are on well means everything we did was worth it my home is up in those hills it's going to be a little bit of a jog for us to get there but tell you what I can move a lot easier out of that damn armor very well yeah I mean I won't be as uh, robust as you but well get round a lot easier. We must walk soft. Well, it's a lot softer. Those boots, they make a hell of a lot of noise. We can be really quiet now. Well, I-, I can be really quiet. You can be invisible. Okay. All right. Watch yourself. We got dogs out here. There is reason to be Don't worry, we won't get too close. You're safe. (sighs) Wonder what one of those cannons would do to a dog. It's better that we left it back there. Would it have slowed us down? Trade caravan. (sighs) You know, I worked for folks like that for a while.
more fighting. It's distant though. Still, I'm not surprised. It's why they need people like me. People like you. I mean, maybe that's a retirement plan. As much as getting shot at on a daily basis could be retirement. Yeah. Make it sound. Sign's still here. So, if I remember correctly, it should just be a straight shot. We can follow the caravan for a bit. Keep an eye on them. Free of charge. This, um, this is my first taste of the outside. And it didn't taste good. I expected things to be very different from how they are. The hell? I, uh, I don't remember this being here. That's... You're okay. Those are pieces of someone's brain. In all things, a calm heart must prevail. Okay, I thought you were going to say mindful. I'm trying to be calm, it just... It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It wasn't them that dropped this off here, it just... Look, it's just... it's strange, I... It's amazing that people trust you enough not to attack We haven't gone in yet. And, yeah, they might trust me, but... I lost parts of me, similar to this. I just feel like someone's... No. It's just a coincidence. The world doesn't revolve around each of us. This isn't my story. It's all of us. It's just... Yeah. It's just chance. Probably one of the... Probably one of the folk that live further down the road. Trying to scare Megaton. Let's go with that. It's a better option. Our steps must be measured. We're pretty safe around here. There's no landmines. Well, at least there weren't last time I came through. I'm just up that way. That's my old home. Did you hear that? My pit boy. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. Come on. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an Dang. automated. That's the girl that I was talking about. Amada. It's... It's automated, though. I... I don't know how long that's been going on for. Come on. I, um... Hell. Look, I should do this by myself. These people inside here, they... They haven't seen the outside world. They, um... It's just gonna be best if you can stand guard here. Do you reckon you can do that for me? You have something to say? Just watch the area. Make sure that no one else comes in. If you insist, 
But do be careful. I... I can hardly repay your kindness while waiting back here. Believe me, my friend, you have already done more than enough to repay their kindness. Just watch out for yourself, okay? After all this time, she was... She was trying to find me. Is that the PA? I've got the signal, but there's nothing on it. It's quiet. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad. chances. Steve Armstrong. Were they trying to leave too? Easy, 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 Stop easy. right there. I, I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Gummies. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Yeah, you could say that. Look, I... I got Amada's message that's... That's why I'm here. I'm not here to cause trouble. I promise. I mean it, and there's no one else with me by myself. I've... I, I need to talk to her. Amada's message? I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. Right. So it's her father, then. Okay, but trouble, what kind of trouble? Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language. <laughs> Believe me, I've, uh, I've heard worse. 
and know that he didn't intend for any of that to happen. He was... Well, he was trying to help. It's what he does. It's what I do. I think sometimes we just blow things up. By accident. He wouldn't be happy to know that if he was still... if he was still alive. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the Overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. No. <laughs> Believe me, safe is a subjective word. W what now? What can I do? I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Rebels. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. I... I can't walk away. My friends in here. My family. Gomez, you're part of that family. I... I knew more about the outside than anyone. Let me, uh... Maybe I can talk to these rebels. Maybe I can... Maybe there's a way that this doesn't have to be violent. Can you lead me somewhere? I can pretend I'm under arrest if that works. I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? I... I need to see Amada. First of all, I need to talk with her. Okay. Follow me. All right. I'm with you. Is that blood? Tunnel snakes. Who am I not surprised? Place is... It's gotten messy. There's something loose in the generator as well. It's still got an air for it. Sorry. Lead the way. Maybe it's better I keep this helmet on for now. Oh no. Alright. Uh oh. Wait here. Trouble? This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before Freddy. I have to do something we'll both regret. Taylor. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! Uh, are you gonna do something here? Hey! Taylor! 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 Stop shooting, damn it! Don't you know enough to stay away? I guess you can still see through all of this, huh? Look. What happened? Why all the shooting? Why all of this? I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. Else isn't what you need, believe me. But I can't talk and I'm not trying to. Look, rebels, who are they? What can you tell me? I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're gonna try something dangerous. Okay. What about Freddy? You almost shot him. Didn't look like he had a weapon on him. I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. Sure. Okay. I understand. Yes, you do. Well, I guess we should continue. The Overseer. So he's just been watching this all happen? I guess you can see how bad things are down here. 
Sorry, where were we going? We were going to Amada's. I still think it's best I talk to her first. As chance would have it, she was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after you left. No surprise. She always did like you. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. Just be careful about it. Okay. I'll follow. You don't belong here anymore. I agree. I'll be gone before you know it. Um, just give me a little warning before we reach Amada. I want to, um, <clears throat> want to freshen up. Hey, be more careful. Uh, sorry, looked like trash. More security. <clears throat> Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Believe me, I'm going. Maybe a vault suit might have been a better idea. Still. Amada's up there, in the clinic with the rest of them. I'd take you closer, but they don't get along with security. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. You've got this, you're still... Mr. Logan, you're still... You're still you. Take off that stupid helmet. Yeah, I don't need the glasses on either. Maybe splash some water. A little less dust. Easy. Butch? Damn. Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. Uh, it takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. I... But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. Okay. Okay. What kind of help, Butch? What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Okay. But just answer me first. Why do you want to get out so bad? I mean, you, you think things are bad in here, right? Because anything up there has got to be better than a lifetime of the same thing down here. Think about it, man. Down here, I'll always be stuck with the same job, with the same food, with the same people forever. You and your dad had the right idea. Get out of this pit and make your own life. <sighs> yeah. Uh, what exactly do you think you're going to do outside, Butch? I'll start a gang, of course. Why... It'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? <sighs> Buddy. Look, you have no idea how many gangs are out there already. Raiders. And it's worse than down here, believe me. Much, much worse than you and your tunnel snakes. Well, they ain't seen nothing like me yet. Butcher's gonna take that wasteland by storm. Sure. Sure. Look, I need you to fill me in. The night... The night my dad left, what... What happened after I was gone? I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened... Guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Right. Poison the well. 
Okay. I'm gonna think about it. Right? But I need to see Amada. Come back if you need something. Sure. Sure. Hey, you say that's the only gun, right? Maybe that's for the best for now. The clinic. School. It's strange to see those two working together. Okay. Deep breath. Amada. Oh my god, you're back! Uh, you got my message and actually came back! Uh, yeah, I... I came as soon as I heard it. I don't know how long you were broadcasting for, but... It's good to see you. Really good. But there's trouble, right? Oh, thank you! Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. You... You saved my life back then. The very least I can do is help you now. Right? I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then I found out it was all to protect a lie. I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives. I... When I was little, I always thought it was strange that I couldn't find any pictures, any holotapes of my grandparents, just nothing. But then that was normal, right? But it wasn't normal for the people in the books and the holotapes, the vids that we watched. We should have known sooner. It turns out that all of our parents were in on it. Your dad more than most, I guess. But for some reason, they closed the door when we were babies and swore to pretend the outside was uninhabitable. But now people have died for that lie. And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us try to contact the outside. I can understand. I know why they did this in the first place. Outside isn't... It isn't what I thought it was going to be. It wasn't what I dreamed it could be. But at the same time, no one should be forced to live down here. It should be a choice. We choose our path. Some of us don't get to, but most of us should have that choice. But fair warning, outside, outside's just as wild. Are you honestly comparing, maybe we should look for help, with stay in an underground bunker all your life or I'll kill you? That's... Obviously, I don't know what's out there, but it can't hurt to take a look, right? Right. Down here, everything will be the same. Out there, there is a lot of bad. But there is good. And... Well, something in between. More than we could have imagined. It's not the world I dreamed of, but... There is just so much more out there. And all this time, we're living in a tiny world that's been falling apart for 200 years. If we don't take a chance out there, we're just going to die down here. But none of that can happen while my father's got the place locked down. Please, something has to be done. You know that better than anyone. I, I, I do. Do you have any idea why your father's doing this? Why... Why he's so burdened on stopping you all? Is it just because of you? I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door. And we're not going to give up until we can reach it. I think he decided a long time ago that that world was not worth saving. He tried to create a new one down here. Along with the rest of our parents. It was... Noble. But... Well, 
They weren't looking too far into the future. But I might be able to think of a solution. There might be something in here, in this head. Something to rectify this. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. Your father, the guards, everyone else that wants to stay, they stay. Those that want to leave, they can leave. Yeah, it's dangerous. If someone goes outside, they get kidnapped. They can give away this position, but believe me, more people know about this place than we thought. A lot more. I just hope I can talk him down. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please don't do anything rash or hurt him, alright? I promise you. I... I know. After all of this, he's still your father. And, well, you're you. Violence wasn't my style, but... Look, I've changed. I will defend myself if I need to, but I swear to you, you're important to me. Don't forget that. And what's important to you is important to me. I will do everything I can to end this peacefully. I'll do everything I can to end this peacefully. I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know, maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks, and good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. All right. Look, I wish I could talk more. There's so much that I... You've got to change the Overseer's mind. Right, right. Of course. We'll... we'll talk afterwards, okay? She looked... She looked great. Beautiful. Time for that later. I gotta get this damn helmet back on. Okay. It's gonna be atrium. Up a level. Uh, part of it's gonna be blocked off, but surely it's gonna be on the other side of the bowl. Butch, doing a good job. I never thought you'd be back. Yeah, well, believe me, I didn't think I would either. Hey, do me a favor. No itchy trigger fingers, okay? Just use it to intimidate. Reactor. Yeah. Sabotage. It's not the right choice. It forces people to make a decision. They should get to choose. I think this might be the right way. I used to know you like the back of my hand. Now I'm already starting to forget. just down the way. You open? Well, that's a surprise. Isolated himself. It's their room. Don't shoot, Logan. Don't shoot. <clears throat> Look, I know you saw me on the way in. 
You must have known this conversation was going to happen, right? Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for Daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Look, I don't want this supervillain shit. I want to know your side. So speak, please. Really? And here I had expected you to be full of bullets and bravado, but short on brains. Perhaps you've grown up since you left our vault. I regret the unfortunate events of that night, but I'm afraid that once your father left us, they were unavoidable. The sad truth is that his actions presented a real and direct threat to the future success of our vault. And so, regrettably, they had to be opposed. Your vault is based upon the idea of keeping people prisoner. Is that what you mean by its future success? Aha, you're paying attention. Good for you. These vaults were designed to be safe havens for humanity, you see. But more than that, they were designed to test and protect us. And none more so than our Vault 101. We are to be a pure and protected breed of humans, never tainted by the ravages of the war above. What? You know, there's another group out there that uh, I think you'd get along with just fine. They're called the Enclave. And I just helped kick them out of DC. Look, you have to understand, the vault doesn't have to be isolated in order to keep its residents safe. And what makes you so certain about that? I can't imagine you're still so naive after spending time in that hell outside. None of them know what the outside is like, and most of them would die out there. Then the rest of us inside would eventually die out too. I won't risk all of our lives just for a few people's passing fancy of taking a wasteland vacation. I hope you can understand that. And so what, you're God? You get to decide this all for them? They don't get a choice in any of this. You birthed them into this. I know your intentions, my father's intentions, our parents. They were good intentions. I know what it's like out there. Yes, there's a hell of a lot of bad, but there is still some good. And you know what? I believe that maybe, just maybe, there is still some good in this vault. Maybe the Wasteland needs Vault 101, not the other way around. Look, if everything is so perfect down here, ask yourself this, why are they rebelling? I just don't know. Don't they realize how dangerous it is out there? But instead, they would throw away the safety of the vault's isolation just to follow in your footsteps. I can't allow them to do that to themselves or to the rest of us. They aren't just following in my footsteps. It's human nature. It's curiosity. It's our will, our want to explore. There is so much more out there. There is a whole country, a whole world that is left for us to inherit. We can help the world. We have great minds down here. If we don't, people like the Enclave that I mentioned before, they're the ones that will decide our country's future, decide the world's future. You can still have your perfect genetic paradise down here, but you need to offer people the choice. Freedom. Look. I know it's not easy, but there are solutions. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. Even if you somehow quash down this rebellion, and that's a big if, how are you gonna do that? Just through more violence? Violence like that isn't forgotten. It will be remembered. Generations after this will still remember. Then you're gonna have a very hard time keeping your perfect genetic pool. Look, you need to offer them the choice, the ones that want to leave. You need to open the vault. I believe the rebels are right. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? Take a look around, okay? How many male, how many female do you have? What about ages? 
You want to keep this sustainable. You have a very small gene pool. It, it didn't make sense back in the day. It made no sense to me. If we were down here for 200 years, we would all be inbred. There weren't enough people here to sustain a community isolated from the rest of the world for that long. Eventually, we'd all just... Well, let's just say I've seen places out there. I've seen what it does to people and it's not good. You don't want that for your vault. That is not genetic purity, my friend. That is mutation. It's disaster. You need people. From the outside. And the outside needs people from here. It can work. It just takes trust. It takes belief. I know you haven't lived your entire life down here. Yet somehow you survived out there. And yeah, maybe it's formed you into who you are now. But you still made it. I know you want the best for your daughter. But believe me, giving her a choice, that's the best thing you can do right now. There's a town not too far from here. It's called Megaton. There's a decent population. It's freedom enough for most of the people in here. It's the sky. Tell me, don't you miss the stars? Or the wind? Just please think. This can't last forever. And this doesn't need to end with violence. I admit, in the 200 years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My god, you're right. We won't last another hundred years whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. Look, I've learned a lot about humanity. The lack thereof it. Genetics has nothing to do with it. The Enclave, they spout about their pure genetics. And they have a severe lack of humanity. Again, humanity is subjective. We give it a meaning. We decide what humanity is. For me, it's about continuing. We don't give up hope. We find a way. Because if we don't, we are just sitting and playing in a pit of ash and death. And no one wants that. Not even you. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism. But I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission. But if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. You stepping... What? It actually worked. He's on his way. Mata. I think we did it. Okay. Time to make it back. There he is. news I have been perhaps overzealous lives have been lost but perhaps worse than that lives have been stopped and in my attempts to keep you safe I have kept you from growing up I know I have made these mistakes and I would make them again if I had to do so that is why I cannot remain your overseer. 
Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe, inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. There are. Hey. I... I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. It, it was. But it was more just helping him see things differently. You both care about the residents of this vault, but in different ways. It's hard to forgive what he's done, but I suppose I can understand why he did it. I'm glad you brought him to his senses. But now there's a new overseer in charge, and I'm planning on opening the vault. This time for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. And what's that? <laughs> I'm glad to help. I know you are, and on behalf of the vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. I... I understand. Our wounds and all that. I just, um... I... I wish things could have been different, you know? Really, I do, but... I'm happy for you. You're what these people need. You can... You can help them find a new future. There's a settlement. It's called Megaton. There's good people there. Tell the sheriff, Lucas Sims. Tell him I sent you. I'll get you some credit. I hope to see you out there. I hope. I... L You've been a good friend, Amada. I'll see you around. We can never really thank you enough for everything you've done. It's not much, but take this with you, to remember us by. It'll be a while before we're actually ready to go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. For now. But with luck, we'll meet again. All right. I'm gonna miss you. I'm sure you're gonna be great. Knock it out the park. Now, all that's left is to leave this place. To walk back outside. Just like before. All that time ago. Those many nights ago. So much has happened since then. So much has changed, but the people down here, for the most part, have stayed the same. How the world outside will change them, I don't know yet. How the conflict ended, and I didn't have to fire a single bullet. It's different from usual, but a martyr isn't exactly usual. I've loved her all these years and I've never really been able to tell her. Now, maybe I never will. That's their path. I have my own to walk. I also shouldn't have lied. I'm not just Logan. Not anymore. I am the Lone Wanderer. Okay. 
maybe not completely alone, but even so, we're separate folks from the rest of the world, from their story. And I've got another signal. It's faint, but I think it's a distress. Something else for us to look at. Maybe people to save. Whichever way, we'll be doing that together, buddy. The Lone Wanderer. And Forks are formidable. Doesn't sound half bad, right? Yeah. Now let's go find that beeping. <laughs> <laughs>